there darlings welcome to today's vlog i wanted to share this soft girl prayer because i love it so much it's helping me to be more tender and to live a life of abundance so welcome today is a new week and you can take your time to read it and pause it and just feel it and save it onto your phone i headed to Lidl to do my weekly shopping and i wanted this to be an experience that i enjoy because something about doing my weekly shopping um allows me to flow into my feminine and adulthood you know i feel like such an adult when i write my shopping list go out and buy all the pieces that i need for the week i don't know do you feel the same i would love to know So my darling, let's go to the gym. Part of being a soft woman is about taking care of your body, eating well. As you can see, your girl has gained some weight, especially around my stomach. So I've just been trying to tackle this. I started by walking on the treadmill. I saw a video of a woman, a 78 year old woman on TikTok, and she looked insane. I felt so ashamed of myself because I was like, no, I feel like I'm letting myself go a little bit. So this really motivated me to keep up with my health and my fitness journey. So I did some leg work, which was really, really good. And I felt the pain after, trust me. Hey babes, I hope you guys are doing well. So welcome to the vlog. This is a new week. I went to the gym this morning. Sorry, I look crazy, I know. <laughs> I'm just about to do my skincare. My skin feels really terrible, like the texture is quite hard at the minute. So I like to do this to just bring up the, to help with the texture. It's really, oh, it's been raining. Cause I'm thinking it's so cold. Like I'm in the house, yeah, and it's freezing. So I just put my robe on. So yeah, let's go ahead and do this. This step is, is very important if you want um, gloss skin, if you want really nice texture if you want your skin to glow. You have to do this at least once a week. Um, so I didn't do this last week, but the week before I did, and you also have to do derma planning. I did my derma planning about two weeks ago, so I don't need to do it again right now. But when I need to do it, I will um, let you guys know and we'll do it together.
right babe, so I finished steaming my face. I was sweating so much. Now I'm just going to apply some um, cleanser. So I'll show you what I normally do. I'll cleanse my face and then I will go back to the steamer. Okay. completely forgot that I usually use some of these tools and to get rid of anything like can you see the oils lifting here on my nose I'm just gonna press here and get rid of all these oils because this is gonna allow for your makeup to go on seamlessly it's better to do it when your face is still hot and wet can you see all that? I mean, this is some of my lip gloss and stuff up. Got back from Costco. I went there to do a quick, quick shopping. I buy my seafood fresh but i don't know when i'll be going to the butchers to buy meat and fish so i saw this prawns i used to buy it before so i got some this is raw and it's farm raised yeah this is not good because they're farm raised <laughs> you should get it because the ones you get from the store it comes from the sea and stuff like that so this is the last time i'll be buying this actually because this is not real thing it's not the real thing do you know what? I was thinking about it in my head, but I didn't see the farm raised one. So what it said here, so I just got that and I got some sea brim as well. And I also got two, um, what do you call it? Water. I got some kitchen towel because they do the best kitchen tissue. It's really nice and thick. And then I got my favorite um, as a flora. This is in the linen fresh. Oh, I didn't realize, but it's fine it still smells nice so because i like to you know use this when i'm cleaning when i'm mopping the floor i sometimes use it to clean my bathroom i just love that it adds a really nice smell so yeah this smells really nice this smells really nice and it's like a floral linen so it's not like a fresh it's fresh but it's more floral so this is going to go in here and then I, f I was supposed to throw this out because this is from my previous delivery. I'm just going to put this in the freezer. And then I'm going to sort this out and put it in the freezer. I'm probably going to make it this weekend. This is just going to make it easier. I'm not sure if this is big enough actually to cover the whole fish. I might have to double it. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to double it. I'm hoping it's going to work. Let me just cut two more for the other one. But yeah, I hope you guys are having a good week. Despite the weather, it's so, so cold, guys. I'm so cold. I feel cold all the time. And I feel like I'm coming down with a cold. Even, like, my heater is always on. Uh, well, not always on because it's expensive to always have the heaters on. I only put it on when it's necessary. But lately, I've been having a heater on like all day. And, you know, I'm not trying to pay £500 
for my heater <laughs> in spring <laughs> make it make sense so i'm just trying to keep warm but like genuinely i don't like to wear clothes at home are you like that i really don't like to be wearing like even loungewear i don't wear at home i usually wear like my if i'm gonna stay home i'll, I'll, I'll have my pajamas on like when i say pajamas like silk pajamas on because i don't sleep with pajamas on you know i'm not I'm, I'm a type of person i don't i can't sleep with clothes on you know some people can wear trousers like a pajama trousers those thick ones with like a thick jumper and go to bed i will not sleep i like to be comfortable in my bed so i just probably wear like a a top or my pajama top that's what i mean but not even not not the long sleeves it has to be like the the spaghetti straps one i feel more comfortable wearing that to bed so that's what i usually wear to sleep so when i'm at home i can wear my silk robes or i'll just wear like my silk pajama trousers from lily silk you guys know that i absolutely love lily silk and um I, I get loads of questions actually a lot of the times like where are my pajamas from M the majority of my pajamas are from lily silk lily silk um I have one from Olivia Von Hell. So darling, on this day, I had a dentist appointment. Can you believe it's been a good six to eight months since I saw my dentist? And the issue here today was that I have a hole in my tooth right where she's picking right there. And there's nothing they can do about it. They cannot feel it because it's close to another tooth. But it's very uncomfortable and it's preventing me from it or anything of hard texture. And another issue was that I grind my teeth when I sleep. So they had to give me this night guard to so that it can protect my teeth when I sleep. This way I won't be able to grind my teeth at night. So what they have to do is they have to model one according to the shape of your teeth and my mouth. And coming up as an example of what a night guard looks like. She also suggested that I buy this tiny toothbrush to help me get into the corners of my teeth when I'm brushing. Good morning guys i hope you guys are doing well welcome back to the vlog i'm getting ready to go to a caramelin event today sorry my face is really dry i just did my facial and now i'm about to put my creams and things like that it's in jamira hotel in um the city so i'm really excited hey babes welcome back to the vlog i hope you guys are doing well if it's your first time here welcome my name is adrige and i love fashion beauty lifestyle softness fragrances or that good jazz that's definitely my vibe if that's your vibe too then welcome to my channel and i hope you subscribe if you're coming back then hey darling i'm so happy to have you with me today in today's vlog i'm heading out to an event with Cara Millen is in a really nice location in um, Carlton Jumeirah in the city so I'm really looking forward to going there and seeing their new collection um, I, I think we get a chance to create our own fragrance today which is really exciting and I'm heading there with my babes Rachel you guys may remember Rachel from um, the trip with Farfetch I met her there she was from my agency my ex agency with Debs, um, she was also part of it. So I haven't seen Rachel in a long time. So I'm really looking forward to seeing my babes. We're both running late actually, because obviously I'm still getting ready. And I think Rachel has some errands to also run before. I started doing my makeup and at first I thought I was running late. So I didn't film any, um, the start of this, but then I got a message from Rachel saying that she's running late. Um, so I thought, you know what, let me take my time and get ready and speak to you guys. So this week is all about, oh, this hair is from Ali Pearl. I understand there's a lady that commented here that she also purchased the hair because of me. And she said that the quality isn't good. And I carry it in my heart because one thing I don't like is for companies to send me something and then to probably, you know, not give out the same service or the same quality to my followers. So I will follow it up with them. I feel like... When you buy wigs that are already made, sometimes the hair is not as full as you may want. But I like this look and I prefer to wear this hair straight because I feel like when I don't wear it straight and curly, it tangles up quickly. 
you know, I keep it real here. I'm not going to lie. It tangles up quickly, just like any other hair it sheds, you know. I think that, you know, we, we cannot lie about that. We cannot, I cannot tell you that it doesn't shed because it does. I cannot tell you that I've never had any hair or wig that doesn't shed. That's, it's not true. Every wig I've had, whether it's from a private vendor, whether I've bought it directly from the vendor, whether it's from a client, they all shed, you know? And I think we have to be honest about those things. Um, on my face today, I really like how I've done my makeup. I don't know what it is, but recently my makeup is just makeuping. Like, I like how I did my brows. I'm just loving the whole look. It's really, really nice. Um, my vibe right now is that soft madam kind of look. That's what I want to go for. And that's what I try to achieve with my hair as well. Hence why I went for the straight hair. But guys, you know what? As we're doing this, I just thought, let us just catch up. And let me tell you, you know, what my vibe is right now. Right now, I'm all about self-love. I'm all about self-assurance. I'm all about um, self-preservation. I'm all about declaring and decreeing a positive day and a positive, like just um, prosperity and positivity into my life. I'm all about I'm declaring and prophesying what I want my life to be and who I want to be, you know? And I feel like sometimes it's so hard to... To be confident, it's so hard to be, to embody the woman that you want to be. I feel like with the rise of social media, it's almost like if you are not at the level where these people are, then you shouldn't feel, um, you shouldn't feel important. You shouldn't feel like you belong there. You shouldn't feel blah, blah, blah. And, but for me, it's like, I have to work with what I have and I have to work with, um, by believing that I'm going to achieve everything that I want to achieve. You know, like in the Bible, it says the, that God created the world with with his words. You know, there's life and death in the power of your tongue. So I guess what I'm trying to say is, you know, I'm learning to be super careful about how I speak about myself. I'm learning to be super careful what I think about. I feel like the past few years, you know, this channel is all about being honest and open. The past few years, I feel like... I became a little bit negative when it comes to myself. I became very doubting when it came to myself. I I wasn't as positive about myself as I as I've always been a very confident person. I've always been a very loving person. I've always been um someone who never thinks negative. Do you know what I mean? Um but I feel like over the years I've consumed um I don't know if I've consumed a lot of negative content because I've even like sat here and I've been trying to think about what what has made me not that I've turned into a negative person but just what has made me become quite doubtful do you know what I mean what has made me come quite doubtful of myself I really love this pop my girl powder and I've been mixing it with my Huda Beauty powder so I just take some from there, the Huda Beauty, and I just mix it. And I get the lightness again, because I just like that. I like the colour that it gives me. Yeah, not that I've become a negative person, but I just feel like I'm not as positive as I used to be. I doubt things a lot before it happens. I doubt opportunities a lot before they happen. And that's not who I am. That's not who I am at all. I feel like I've consumed other people's negative energy, negative words. Um, so what I'm doing at the moment is just saying affirmations to myself every morning because I am that girl. Do you know what I mean? And I don't want to be, I don't want to let my mind tell me that I'm not. I don't want to let, <coughs> because like I said, the power of life and death is in the tongue. Whatever you say about yourself is what turns into reality. Whatever you think about yourself is what you what, what will become your reality. So I guess I'm just trying to say, just be careful how you speak to yourself. Be careful how you address yourself. Be careful how you let others speak to you. Like this is really, really key. Cause I like, 
I think sometimes we all kind of let people get away with speaking to us anyhow and that's something that I don't want to do anymore I I think I've always been that type of person anyway if somebody spoke to me out of line I'd make it known um and I think the beauty of aging is being and being a woman is being able to stand your ground is being able to to say no I think we need to have boundaries is really important having boundaries as a woman is really important and I think even when it comes to men and relationships it's really really important to have boundaries it's really really important to say you know what like this is my standard this is what I believe in and that's it and I feel like even when you go out on dates and stuff like that it's important to lay your standards not like th th throw it up on them but you need to be able to exercise your boundaries I know that when I go on dates especially if it's a first date and you know no matter how great of a time we're having I don't stay out past 11 o'clock usually i want to be in my house by 11 o'clock but if it happens that i'm having such a great time and i kind of get i kind of lose track of time a little bit i would and you know what made a difference last time i used my queen latifah i still have this um <coughs> ebony bronzer i've had this for years like i've hit the pan but i use it i have my days where i want to use it um, if you remember this, let me know. This is a really good bronzer and this is what I used last time and I think it made such a huge difference. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, ladies, it's important to have... Where are these brushes? It's important to have boundaries and it's important to exercise your boundaries. Um, even if it means exercising it on your friends first to see like how you vibe, how it feels... And it gives you your power back. Because sometimes when you stay out on dates for too long and you're drinking or whatever, you end up saying things that you're not meant to say. <coughs> Excuse me. I've got this disgusting cough that just won't leave me alone. You end up saying things that you don't want to say. You end up overstaying. Um, and like, I know you're probably saying, yeah, but I'm a big girl. I can stay out if I want to each to their own like I completely understand babe do you know what I mean this is just what I do for me and it works fine for me <coughs> because I don't think any man wants to be with a woman that, that doesn't have boundaries and if any man doesn't respect your boundaries then they're not for you and that's one thing that I've noticed because I think sometimes us women we tend to make excuses for men but for me personally if a man doesn't respect my boundaries then you know this is not going to happen if it's past 11 o'clock he wants me to stay out maybe on a third day i will stay out you know i have a sense of trust for you you know whatever but i think like early stages try to have boundaries in place um <coughs> my god i don't know what is happening i think when it comes to like where to go restaurants and stuff I don't think you have to be like, I want to go to only this restaurant. I think sometimes it's, it's fine to go on like c casual dates, even as a first date. I don't have an issue with that. Um, but obviously, if you, if it's spontaneous, I don't have an issue with it. Um, what was I saying, babe? Yeah, just, you know, have your boundaries, boundaries for your colleagues. Have boundaries. I think as a woman, it's important to, to have boundaries. You need to have boundaries with your friends, boundaries with family members, boundaries with co-workers, especially that. Because I remember when I used to work in the office, like everybody knew everything about everybody, you know? And like everyone wants to know your business, who you live with, what you do when you're not working, um, who your man is, who your woman is. <coughs> And sometimes you don't have to share those information. You don't have to. Your co-workers are not your friends. They don't need to know any, everything. Because I know when I used to work in the office, some of the things that I shared was used against me. About my personal life. About the activities that I do at work. <laughs> on the computer. You know, because when you work in, the, in admin sometimes, it's there's nothing to do. You've done everything for the day. You, you know... <coughs> <coughs> When you get a quiet moment, 
you can look online and obviously I've always been in con I've always been a content creator so I've always I used to have a website which I created at work do you know what I mean because I had a quiet moment and so I did that but it didn't stop me from working it didn't stop me from <coughs> it didn't stop me from organizing like it didn't organizing work organizing events you know whatever it is that I had to do liaising with suppliers like it didn't stop me from doing that at all so I know one time my colleagues snitched on me even though they were honestly I have so many work stories it's crazy but my throat feels so funny so I think I'm going to stop talking here <coughs> and drink some water and continue with my makeup when I'm finished doing my makeup I'll come back okay Rachel and I arrived at the Caramillion event in the Cowton Jumeirah in um, Knightsbridge. It was really nice. The decor was given at spring. They had beautiful, gorgeous pieces for spring, summer. Those two particular dresses I love so much. This bed was giving softness. All the vibes that we love. Champagne was flowing, my babes. But I didn't drink on this day because your girl needs to detox. This robe is giving his and hers and I love it. L picked up some more pieces that I was loving. And then we had the honour of creating our own fragrance on this day. This has really given me a boost to do more with fragrances. It was just such an amazing experience. I named my fragrance Soft Girl. It was so, so good. Mm -hmm. 